there, it's hard to bring it back. That's what I'm trying to do right now. So like, damage control. Guys, I never take pictures of my food. IG eats first. <laughs> <laughs> My dance studio, it's definitely very special to me. I used to dance like sometimes seven days a week. You go from school to dance, you dance until late at night, Saturday, Sunday, until late at night. And you keep dancing when you leave because that's all that I did. Want to do a little improv intro? My goodness. <laughs> what does your split look like? Let's see it. Gemma and I were both competitive full-time training dancers. We're very close. We used to spend a lot of time together. Oh! That was so easy. <laughs> I think dance definitely shaped a huge part of who I am, but that's also who I always was. And I was very determined. I always wanted to be the best at whatever I was doing, and if I wasn't the best, you either work towards it or don't do it. So how's life? What's new? What's up to? Dixie and I moved in together. Oh, <laughs> Dixie? Is she still with us? Uh... No. They are going through it, but it's a lot going on. The internet plays a part in it. They're trying to keep it, everything offline. This is so hard. It creeps into uh, every single yeah. thing. Do you ever just like miss old life? Yes and no. I mean, it was definitely nice to like be able to just kind of go walk around with my friends and like do stuff like that. But also like I do pretty cool things now. So it's like, I wouldn't trade that. It's just. Just different. Yeah. yeah. This whole thing would have played out so differently had you guys not been supportive. Like, I don't know what nothing would have played out the same. Yeah. Just having you guys kind of just believe in me from that sense, like definitely helped me to get where I am.